Oh boy, oh boy. I mean, uh, hey ponies, uh, how's that crow tasting right now? I mean, uh, must be must be pretty tough, pretty tough to swallow, right? Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Now, I don't want to go too much in on this because uh, at the end of the day, it was it was a given and this is just my time to gloat a little bit here at all the people who were being rude to me on Twitter for just stating facts um, and just being the way that those people were being. Uh, it's just funny because in the end of the day, guys, it was down to basic maths. You work it out on paper what usually happens on paper happens when things come to fruition and are in real life and this is exactly what's happened as you're seeing in the background you'll be seeing some digital foundry uh, I'm using their footage in this video uh, so thank you to them um, but you can see the uh, the ray tracing mode is performing an average of about 16% higher in performance which is what we've said all along the GPU in the Series X is about that much more powerful it just is it's facts on paper the CPU is as well and also the RAM is running at a higher memory bandwidth it's just basic maths and finally these are being put into work with these new games like Control that is utilizing these consoles it's just proving it more and more guys and and this is the first of many and we're very early on in the generation now I know there's been some games running better at, um, on PS5 early on uh, but things this is two now this is two big new games I might add new games uh, like Hitman and also this control which is a complete remaster for Series X and PS5 and they're both running better one hitman is running at 4k whereas uh the playstation 5 is running at 1800p and now this they've managed to figure out a way of getting the frame rate uncapped and it's running at 16 percent higher sometimes more in certain cases but as an average of all the footages uh, footages all the footage that they've got compiled together it's an average of 16 percent higher performance on uh on the xbox series x and this is just how it is guys it's it's what's going to happen this generation. I'm not saying the PS5 is a bad console before I get people in the comments slating me for that. No, I own a PS5 and a Series X. Uh, so don't you worry, I'm not biased. I just prefer Xbox. That's my preferred fat platform to, pay, to play games on. I've always loved the Xbox, uh, even when it was the least powerful system with the Xbox One and the PS4. Uh, PS4. Um, and I, I still stuck with Xbox because I prefer that system. But at the end of the day, it doesn't make the PS5 a bad console this. That's what I want to get around. I'm just gloating a little bit because there were so many people who said I was incorrect and that I didn't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Mark Cerny had this and that up his sleeve. Uh, no, guys, the, at the end of the day, Xbox waited for full RDNA 2 feature set. And uh, on top of that, they have the more powerful system. It's just the way it was always going to go, whether it was in a week's time or in four years time. It doesn't matter. It's coming out earlier than I even expected. Um, and finally, these developers are getting used to it. Now, just talking about another thing briefly, I've seen a lot of things about the Xbox Series S. I mentioned it in the previous video. The S is not holding this bag. I'm sorry if developers can't be asked to just scale a game back a little bit uh, for one console when they have hundreds of GPUs to cater for and, and the Series S is not the lowest common denominator. We have said this so many times now, the Series S is not the weakest system. PC is. They have to make these games designed for a hard drive. And when that minimum spec goes up on PC to an SSD, the SSD will not be as quick as the SSD that is in the Series S. Um, so it's it's not the minimum spec. I don't understand these rumors and this absolute garbage that's going around at the moment about this Series S. It's just a load of crap and it really, really winds me up because it's just not true. Developers, if they're really that lazy to just to scale one more system back, um, then it's really not that much of a deal. And it's a matter of scaling resolution and ray tracing abilities. I mean, the Series S is a powerful system. It's got a four teraflop GPU. It's got basically the same CPU that's in the Series X, just uh, 0.2 gigahertz slower. Um, and it's it's got 10 gig of RAM, which is still, again, the minimum spec is usually eight. It's not a problem. And it's, at the end of the day, it's not a PC. The RAM isn't being used for other things like the, the PC software that's running in the background. So 
I just am confused um, with that statement and I don't see it as a problem and I think you guys should not worry about it. Uh, people are saying you should be shouting at Microsoft saying that you need to they need to get rid of the Series S because it's, it's holding back gaming. It's not. Do not listen to that utter dross. It's just embarrassing. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I've had my little bit of gloating here in today's video. You're going to see more and more uh, performance comparisons going the way of Series X, um, and that's just the way it is. I'm happy because finally uh, it's it's coming through. I always knew it would, and it was just a matter of time. Um, and also a bit of a bit of a brain check for me is, you know, I actually was correct. The new, I knew the maths was going to work out at some point, but it was kind of screwing everybody over, including PC gamers were like, wait, this means this on Series X, and this is this 20% more powerful than PS5, yet it's not working that way right now. What's going on? And it was just a matter of them not using the correct things. I don't know exactly what it was uh, with some of the earlier games, but they fixed the patches, and like Valhalla, now it's running the exact same, uh, and I had anticipated it could run better on Xbox, and when we get ray tracing in Valhalla, I'd imagine it's going to start seeing uh, the side of Xbox being better. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the short video. Uh, yeah, enjoy eating your crow, those of you who were being rude to me. So, bye.